if you are locked out and unable to unlock your iOS device because you forgot your passcode, then watch this video for a free working solution. And this method requires a computer, a compatible cable, your Apple ID and password, and a backup if you want to restore data. First, from your computer, visit this official website. For downloading the non-Microsoft version of iTunes, I will leave the link in the description. For this demonstration, I will use a Windows computer. iTunes is available for both 32-bit and 64-bit processors. So to find the correct processor, visit the Settings app and search for Device Specifications. As you can see, in my case, I have a 64-bit processor. Now that I know my correct processor, visit the same website and from the sidebar, click on Version History. Scroll down to the bottom of the list until you find the latest version and then click on the correct Windows processor. And finally scroll down and download the latest non-Microsoft version of iTunes into your computer. Make sure to uninstall the Microsoft version of iTunes before installing this version. Once iTunes is downloaded, just install it and do the setup like any other program. Once successfully installed, simply launch iTunes and now connect your iOS device to the computer. And it should detect your iOS device as indicated from this icon here. And if the icon does not appear, you may watch this video if your computer is not detecting your iOS device. Next, you would want to enter recovery mode, which looks exactly like this. To boot into the recovery mode, you can search in YouTube for your own device, as the method differs for every devices. Once the device boots up into recovery mode, your iTunes will show something like this. Now all you need to do is simply click on the restore option and then click on restore and update and agree to the terms and condition. Now, iTunes will first download the latest signed firmware, which you can see and track the download. At the time of making this video, the current version is 18.6.2. Once the downloading process is over, the restoring and repairing process will begin. It may take a while for the entire process to get over. Meanwhile, you can hit subscribe and like and hype this video. The device will boot up and you will see hello screen. And at the same time, the iTunes will recognize your iOS device as a new one as shown here. Now do the usual setup of your device. And if you get to this point, just tap on continue with partial setup. And if you do not have a backup, tap on don't transfer anything. But if do have a backup in your computer, tap on from Mac or PC. Make sure your device is still connected to the computer. And on iTunes, just select the backup from the list and tap on continue to begin the restoring process. But please note, you will be asked to enter your Apple ID and password. That's it, you can now set your new passcode and get access to your own iOS device. Next if you are stuck in iOS 26 beta and want to downgrade without data loss, watch my next videos, thank you.